Banning hate speech may sound like a wonderful idea, except that people cannot agree on what is hateful. Hate, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. And this is why Ontario's Bill 84 is extremely dangerous. Bill 84 proposes to ban hateful demonstrations at the legislature grounds. The bill says, quote, no demonstration, rally, or other activity that, in the opinion of the speaker, is likely to promote hatred against any identifiable group shall be permitted on legislative precinct grounds. Now, just about anything can be seen as hateful by at least some people. For example, recently at McMaster University, a speaker presented about China's treatment of the Uyghur people in Western China, who are being interned in re-education camps. And guess what? Chinese student groups complained that this presentation promotes hatred against China. They complained to the Chinese consulate in Toronto, and they asked McMaster University to ensure, quote, the dignity of Chinese students not be infringed, quote. We hear accusations of hate all the time. It's been said that critics of Israel hate the Jews, critics of Islam hate Muslims, uh, those who disagree with gay sex hate gay people, radical feminists hate men, so on and so forth. And yet Bill 84 gives the Speaker of the Legislative Assembly the power to prohibit peaceful demonstrations, which he subjectively perceives as being likely to promote hate. Now we can trust the Speaker to be neutral and impartial uh, as between different political parties when the legislature is in session. But that doesn't change the fact that the speaker is a human being with his own beliefs and prejudices and his own understanding of what is right and wrong, true and false, good and evil. And so the speaker cannot be objective, no matter how hard he tries, in determining what is or is not likely to promote hate. So what will happen if Bill 84 passes? Well, any group that complains loudly enough about a proposed event being likely to promote hate will succeed in persuading the speaker to ban the event if that group is politically well-organized enough. So Bill 84 is founded on good intentions, but the result will be political decisions to ban speech and to ban peaceful assemblies on the legislature grounds. I'm John Carpe. Thanks for listening.